Tel Aviv will be uh, international or British or international territory. In other words, guys, the partition plan. The partition plan is going to take 10 years before it's voted on in the United Nations. During that course, the British are going to try to keep the lid on burning waters, right? Burning waters. Palestine is going to go through all of the uh, wars, all of the violence between the Arab and the Jewish and the British communities here in the, during the 1930s, 1940s. The community of Tzfat, which we're going to right now, Tzfat up here on the hill, will suffer terribly. The Jewish community of Tzfat will suffer terribly during those, uh, during those riots. And they will learn from those riots that you don't allow the British in any way to come in and offer you protection. Because when the British gave the protection to the Jewish community of Tzfat, all they did was they took them to a large building built in the Ottoman era, uh, the Saraya, the governmental building, put them inside the building and put Arabs to guard them. And of course, <coughs> the, 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 dump, the, uh, the results weren't very good. And the story fits today. So, so everything that takes place in the 1930s gives consequences for the 1948 war and their preparation for these communities for the War of Independence. This is a British army, this is a British police station to guard the water post below that they thought would be attacked during the 1930s, right? And uh, all the bullet holes that you can see here are nothing to do with actual wars or actual battles that took place here. The Israeli army is portrayed here. So this is what the bullet holes are from, not actually from uh, uh, actual wars. <laughs> In 1948, the Tzfat community in during May 1948, just a few days before the, the, the Declaration of Independence, the Tzfat community, the, the, commu the Arab community that did in Tzfat, which was about 11,000 people, will, uh, will be scared in one night by shelling, which takes place. Shelling using the Davidka, anyone that's heard of the Davidka before? Davidka, 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 Davidka! <laughs> the train okay. So the, anyone that's heard of the Davidka, it's a small uh, propeller, small uh, artillery shell which made more noise than it actually did anything else but uh, the, the large noise of shelling plus the uh, the idea plus the rumor that was going around that the Jews had a nuclear weapon that was going to use around the Arab community uh, plus the conditions that in Palestine there was a truth the, the idea is that when war breaks out you leave your home and, uh, and that's what happens the entire Tzfat community on one night something like 11,000 people walk out of Tzfat down into the Amud River which we just came out of and straight up to the north out to Lebanon and the communities of the, the Palestinian communities in Lebanon many of them draw their roots back to Tzfat including also Muhammad uh, Abbas also Muhammad the, uh, Abbas. Muhammad Abbas also the you know, Abu Mazen who is uh, originally born in Tzfat He was born in Tzfat They're born in the war of independence so there's Tzfat, there's the Amos Street, that's, that's the British Army Post and where have we, what have we done all today guys? We came from? We came from the west because we were all the time travelling We were all the time travelling east and uh, who, who, who sees Mount Meron right now? It's a little bit uh, shallow uh, over there but you can see the peak that we walked the afternoon and where we started from this morning and guys, you can see the view right now Just walked this view, right? Just came to the on, made our way uh, down, uh, all the way down to the to the to the Meron, to the uh, to the Spring, through Rachel Meron, to join Rachel Meron, back down to the north to the south, and then circle around, back up, and that was your third day of round two. Right, to the bus and beyond.